This is my geodesic dome build video. I measured, cut, squished, drilled, and grinded a bunch of electrical conduit to make the struts for my dome. Now that I have all those finished, it's time to assemble my 200 foot 2V geodesic greenhouse dome frame. I'm a little eager. It was minus 15 Celsius this morning. Difficult to film as the battery in my phone doesn't like the cold in a tripod sitting outside at this temperature, so I took pictures of my progress and kept the iPhone warm in my pocket most of the time. Simple Tech Technology, Agriculture and Energy videos. Hitting the subscribe button tells YouTube these are the kind of videos you want to see more of. Click the subscribe button now. Domorama has a fantastic dome calculator that provided this diagram of how to assemble my 2V geodesic dome. I included the link to them below. They are fantastic and easy to use. I started by laying out 10 of the larger struts in a circle. The dogs sure seem to find it interesting. Next I laid out triangles, alternating size to match all the struts in the circle. The struts then had to be bolted together. When building you don't tighten the bolts much. Having them loose allows you to assemble the parts much easier as you go. The next stage is attaching the top of the triangles together. And doing so, walls start to appear on the dome. Of course it's a little unstable at this point, but loose bolts make attaching pieces like a Meccano set pretty easy. I didn't use a wrench or a ratchet to assemble the dome, only afterwards. Every bolt was hand titled during assembly and all done by one person alone. The second level went up quick. As the pieces bolted together, the dome took shape and it held itself upright. I was quite impressed at the angles on the struts. They bent into place without any problems at all. The top level required five struts that all met in the center. My ladder was buried under the snow, so I used an old tire to get high enough to connect the final pieces. Luckily, I'm 6'3", so I only needed a little extra height to finish off bolting together the dome. After it was all connected, I hand tightened the bolts as much as possible and the dome took shape. All that's needed now is a wrench and I can finalize this entire dome and it'll be perfect. That's it for this video. In the next video, I'll show how I'm putting a door into the dome. Thank you for watching and please take a moment to hit the subscribe button. Hitting subscribe tells YouTube to suggest to you more videos about technology, agriculture and energy. Thanks for watching.